Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I'm gonna to show you how to do mail merge using Word, Excel, and Outlook. So first off, what is mail merge? Well, think of it as when the electric company sends you a bill every month. They customize your bill with your name, your address information. I'm gonna show you how to do something similar to that. Let's say you wanna send out envelopes, let's say you wanna send out a letter, or maybe you wanna send out an email, and each individual one has custom information that you wanna include on there. And that's what we can do with mail merge. Uh, so let's jump right on into it. Uh, and as we're getting started here, just as full disclosure, I work at Microsoft. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is uh, I'm gonna open up Microsoft Word. Uh, so we're gonna pop up Word here, and then I'm gonna open up a new blank document. Um, so here I am in my new blank document, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on mailings. Um, now one thing to say is this, what I'm using right now, this is Office 365. Uh, chances are it'll also work on 2019, 2016, 2013, 2010. I don't think mail merge functionality has changed that much, but just as a caveat, this is using the latest version of Office. This is Office 365. Uh, so I'm gonna click on mailings, and the first thing I'm gonna do is there's a little button there that says start mail merge. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an email message uh, that I'm gonna use to customize uh, the user information in there. Um, you could also create things like letters, envelopes, labels, uh, directory information, but we're going to do an email today. Um, the, the process that you follow in all these other ones is very similar to doing an email message. Uh, so I'm going to click on that, and like I said before, um, I'm going to be sending out a billing notification, so I get to collect money from people. So we're going to say hello, and I want to customize this. Uh, so what I want to do is I need to select information. Now let me pull my Word document over. Um, and here on my desktop, I have a sheet called customer information. So I'm gonna pull that up. Uh, this is a spreadsheet that I created ahead of time. Um, and it has four different columns. It has uh, the first name of people. It also has the, the plan name that someone is on. It has the, the due date for the bill. Uh, and it also has the email address. I just use the same email address on each one. Um, and so I wanna use this information from this list in the, uh, the mail merge that I'm doing. So we're gonna start out here uh, by saying hello. And what I'm gonna do now is I wanna connect this spreadsheet to this Word document. So I'm gonna click on select recipients. Um, I could create a new list, I could choose from Outlook contacts, but I have this spreadsheet, so I'm gonna click on use an existing list. And now what I could do is it opens up the, uh, the file picker and I'm gonna click on my desktop because that's where I have this file stored uh, titled customer information. I'm gonna click on that. Um, and now what it's asking me to do is it wants me to select a table. And so you'll see in my Excel sheet, I have a table or a sheet called customer information. So I'm gonna go with that. And then you'll see this checkbox that says the first row of data contains column headers. Um, at the very top of my sheet, you'll see that, you know, I have my column header here with first name, plan, due date. So I'm gonna leave that checked. Uh, and we're gonna click on okay. And so now what it's done is it's connected this spreadsheet with this uh, Word document that I'm creating. Uh, so here I'm gonna say hello. And now what I could do is uh, there's another option here um, that says insert merge field. Uh, so I'm gonna click on that. And when I click on the dropdown, you'll notice that I have these different columns. And these columns line up with the Excel spreadsheet. So I have first name, which lines up with first name, plan, due date, and email. Um, so I'll say hello, and I wanna say hello to the first name. So I'll click on first name. Uh, and then you'll see this little, uh, you'll see the text there that's the first name. That's a placeholder for the name. So I'm gonna put in a column and I'm gonna say uh, your, let's say your, um, and I'm gonna put the plan name in. So we'll say your, um, so it'll say starter or platinum, your starter package is due on, and then we wanna insert the due date. So I'm gonna insert another field and I'm gonna insert due date. And so you notice it puts another placeholder in. It says your, let's say starter package is due on um, such and such a date. And then I'll say, please submit your payments to 123 Main Street. And we're gonna say this is in Seattle, Washington. And I'll put down a zip code. Um, thank you, let's say thank you. And then we're gonna call this the billing company. Okay, um, so what I've done now is let's test this out and see how this works. Uh, so they have this option here that says preview results. So I'm gonna click on that. And so now you'll see it's inserted the first row from my spreadsheet. So I have this John, he's on the starter plan and it's due on 315. So here it says, hello John, your starter package is due on 315, 2019. Please submit your payment to this address. Thank you, the billing company. And what I could do is I could click through this little arrow and that goes to the next record. So here it'll jump to Carrie, then it jumps to Kevin, that's me, so I'm charging myself. Uh, and here you'll see that the package modif changes, the date modifies. So here, Kevin, that lines up with this row here. So Kevin's on the starter package. Here you see starter. 
um, and that's due on 318 and you see 318. Okay, so now I've set it up so that the message is customized. It's using information from my list in the sheet. Uh, now that we've done that, now I wanna go ahead and send an email out. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the preview here so it goes back to the, the template. And then there's a button that says finish and merge. Uh, what I'm gonna click on here is you could print documents um, or I could send email messages. Uh, today I wanna send an email. So I'm gonna click on send email messages. Um, so it says to email. And so what this is doing is uh, it's using the column email. Um, you could choose any one of the columns, but it automatically detected that this is an email address, so it chooses that column. Um, and I'm gonna say for the subject, I'll say your bill is due. Um, and then I, you, what you could do is it says send to all records, current record, or I could set um, specific rows that I wanna send it to. So let's say that I only wanna send bills, say a month in advance. Um, I could choose, hey, I just wanna do, you know, let's say row five and six, and I just wanted to send it to them. Uh, but in this case, I'll send it to, I'll send it to everyone, uh, and then I click OK. Uh, so now what's happening is it's going ahead and it's uh, generating uh, emails. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Outlook. Uh, so I'm in Outlook here and you'll see um, I have my outbox and it says your bill is due, your bill is due and each one is customized to the person uh, that I had in the list. Uh, and then what I could do is I'm just gonna make sure I click on send and receive and now it's gonna send each one of those emails. Um, so there you have it, it sent out a bill to these five different people. Um, and hopefully they submit their payment on time. Uh, but that's really, that's as easy as uh, mail merge is. Uh, you can take a list, you have a Word document, you could insert information from that list, you could define uh, who you wanna send it out to, uh, and then you could send out a bulk number of whether it's emails or whether it's, uh, let's say, a letter and envelopes uh, and customize the information on there. Um, so hopefully this information was helpful. Hopefully you found this uh, tutorial, uh, tutorial valuable and uh, hopefully that'll take care of your mail merge needs. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe. That way you'll see future videos like this. Uh, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that way um, it helps boost my confidence that people are taking these videos and using them for something good. Okay, well, thanks a lot, everyone. See you next time.